Hey guys, how are you? To all of my friends and my buddies. And first thing I'll say, I'm really sorry I didn't upload any videos in last two to three months and maybe a four months. So I'm really sorry. But today I have a new video tutorial based on Coding Nider, Coding Nider 3, and we will perform a code operation, delete, update, uh, add new records, and anything. So before we start, I'll show you a quick demo and then we will write a code. So if you want to delete this one and if you want to add it so you can do info and edit so info at the red dot z dot in and uh, add a new records rockies jumi and uh, address is at Five four six and demo address too much uh, spelling mistakes. Okay, I don't know. Email is test mail at the red mail dot com and anything and uh, mobile number and add a new user. So guys you can see uh, users which we have added recently so rockies is here and when we check in our database table which is register table here is also a two right so each and everything we will do a step by step we will not escape any steps so you will understand uh, clearly and you can use this script and you can use this code in your future project right if you are if it requires okay so you can download a source code i will put a link in a video description so you can go through that that link and you can download right and then okay let's understand let's just start a code let's okay so guys so uh, we need a uh, oh we need coding writer first right so this is a php framework so let's download this one download ci code igniter you can click it here and download a coding igniter 3 and unzip inside in your st doc right already I have it done right and uh, first we need to configure our installation of coding igniter so i'm teaching you uh, very basics right so you need to go to application after download and you can unzip inside in your st doc and then go to application and go to config and here we need to change three files first is database.php let's take this one let me close all the previous files okay so okay let's save this one so database.php file yeah this one and uh, here we need to add our database username password and database name right so how the first question is how you can get database name right so my database name is tutorial and if you don't have you can create it here right so all you can new and you can create like this new and you can create right so I already have a tutorial database so I'm putting it here tutorial right and uh, put it username is root and password is blank if you are uh, uploading on a server you have to put database username and password right okay so let's disclose this one we have uh, established the connection uh, in our uh, database right to database in PHP right and uh, then you had to call open config.php so guys uh, just just forgive me for my bad English okay so let's 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 come to our point in our tutorial so in a config.php uh, you need to set a base URL and base URL is simply is your uh, project name and you have to type it localhost and your project name my project name is CI tutorial right so let's close this one and uh, then go to routes.php so this is a routing file 
like laravel right any mbc framework and this is a routing file and here you need to set a default controller and my default controller is registered so let me show you registered controller right so go to controller and here is the registered controller right register.php so let this open it here and close the trap then uh, this is my registered model this is a model let me show you registered model dot php reg register underscore model so this is registered model so go to model and uh, registered underscore model like this up uh. and here is lots of uh, functions and methods uh, in this registered model this is a class file right so here is get all registered details means all registered users and get the id why registered details and insert data and update so i'll show you one by one right so registered details uh, sorry this is register models and i'm calling the method of get all registered details which is this function get all registered details right i'm calling this function i'm calling this function in controller right and passing inside list view right through this data array of data right so let me show you list of details array details uh, this is a view file so let me show you this view list.php in a view so go to views and go to Mm, list.php let's open this one yeah so this is just basic html files right first name last name like you can see uh, like this one right first name last name last name is html file and we are uh, fetching a data from database right so this is uh, array register details and rg register Mm, rg okay and rg is first name last name emails and mobile right let me let me go uh, let me enter from here so you can see clearly edit and this is for delete so this is a take where is closing mm, yeah here and td maybe close it here right so all the details we are fetching from database first name last name right and uh, here is two buttons right two links one is for edit and second one is for delete so we will see uh, in a minute right and then jump into a uh, uh, another method which is add and here we are inserting our data right to this function insert function so insert function is here and let me show you insert function and uh, all the data we are pass passing first name last name emails all the forms data right so this is a name txt name txt last l name txt, txt address txt emails txt mobile and this all the the variable in html so that is add.php and here is the form right let me zoom in txt fnm txt lnm txt email txt address and mobile number right this is a form we are inserting save and we are inserting inside uh inside controller right we are getting in controller right so this uh, there is a simply a form like this one and calling a method and uh, calling a method insert right the insert is this one right and here we are writing a queries for inserting a data so this is a table name and this is array data and array data we are passing all the data, form data right so if su successfully registered it will redirect to a registered controller means uh, index.php uh, index function right 
so whenever you will uh, add a new records it will automatically redirect to uh, this page registered you can see registered right and then let me show you uh, edit this is for add and this is for edit right so it takes one parameter which is id and id is this one list and id right so registered is our controller which is this one this controller okay and edit is our function which is this one and passing one parameter which is id right so we are passing users id here this id right so whenever we will click it here this is a controller this is a function and id is this one this is a 20 add and 20 add is a user's id and when we click to another user oh sorry another user 27 and maybe 20 this is 20 right so these are the ids right for edit yeah and uh, also we are calling a uh, method of the model which is get id wise registered details means all the details we are fetching through this function mm, yeah this function means particular user we are getting the data of particular user right so id whenever you will uh, you will uh, click to add it it will get this users data only only this users data only this users data only this users data right so let's click on edit and uh, it will gives all the details of uh, current user of this id right and uh, again we are putting all the details uh, again we are getting all the uh, data from form and uh, this is edit dot php let me show you edit dot php and uh, we are this is a txt name tf name l name means first name last name address and emails all we are putting it here right and uh, existing data we are set to as a value right so this is edit dot php and we are setting its value so this is value and this is existing data if uh, means uh, existing data means already users have right so we don't need to add edit means we don't need to update so before update this is a uh, existing data right so first name it will automatically put it here right we don't need to enter if you want to change you can edit you if you want to update i mean update right change means update right so all the first name last name address emails mobile numbers and 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 everything right it here so edit and uh, then delete so delete is simply this whenever we will click it here it's delete so delete function also have a id right so when we click it here um, list right so this is registered and uh, register is uh, our controller and delete is our function so this is a delete and it also taking uh, one parameter which is user's id means this user uh, when we click it here it should be uh, it should be deleted okay so for that we are passing id and this id we are passing to uh, this function of model this is model registered model and calling method delete and delete mod model is insert picture okay update and uh, insert update has done and delete so delete means this is query of delete and uh, registered is our table uh, table name and whenever it has a id right means id is this id right whatever uh, id you are passed through this function it will delete and redirect to registered means back to uh, this page like this okay so guys uh, uh okay one thing i forgot which is config and uh, 
go to auto load uh, auto load auto load yeah this one and uh, helper driver and helper you need to pass this you need to load helper which is url helper this is very important without this it will not work and you can also this using uh, you can also load okay okay helper and name of the helper and our helper name is url which is this one if you are not auto loading you can also call you can load inside controller okay like this so this will also work right so i'll provide one more time uh, i i'm telling you all the code i'll uh, provide a link in a video description so you can come and you can go through a link and you can download right so it's very easy to understand right uh, okay so all the things i i think we have done and video is uh, very long i think and uh, lots of things i have told you uh, i have taught you uh, i don't know you have understood or not but if you have qu any questions and queries you can let me know right so let me i think uh, upload okay this is code operation i'm uploading um, source code okay guys so this is okay let me zip file and let me upload it okay so guys successfully uploaded uh, on my site so you can go through the link and you can download uh, this tutorial source code so guys so uh, if you have any questions and queries you can ask me in a comment uh, i will reply you and i will answer your question so thanks for watching and uh, thank you so much uh, for supporting me so we will see you soon in the next video till then bye have a nice day bye bye